to get started with Zoom, log into Bolt. Once you're logged into Bolt, go to a course. Once in the course, click on Communication, then click Zoom. This should take you directly out to the Zoom portal. This is your profile page, so you can view your information. The next step in the process, however, is for you to download the Meetings Client. So scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see Download and Meetings Client. Click on Meetings Client. This will take you to the download page. Click Download. You'll see a button pop up <clears throat> asking you if you want to open or save this file. Um, we're going to save the file. This by default, depending on your settings, will most likely save it in your downloads folder or you'll be able to choose where to save it. So you save the file. Once that file is finished processing, you can go ahead to your downloads folder and you want to run the Zoom installer. Click run. Once Zoom is installed, you'll notice that you now have the sign in button. So you want to click sign in. And at this point, you want to click the sign in with SSO. This is how we're going to link your account uh, with Bloomsburg University Zoom account. So click sign in with SSO. Your company domain is BloomU. So if it's not there, type BloomU. Click continue. And this will bring you to the single sign-on page. At this point, enter your credentials, sign on, and that should log you in to the meeting client. And you'll notice it says D2 faculty test, and the home button gives me some different options. And we'll come back to this. So that's step one. To set up your meeting rooms in Zoom, log into Bolt, click Communication, then click Zoom. This should take you back to your profile page in Zoom. Once on the profile page, what you want to do is click on Meetings. And then from Meetings, you'll see the option to schedule a new meeting. In Schedule a New Meeting, you want to set uh, the name for the room and please make it specific to your course. You can enter a description, that's optional. The next options you'll set are when, duration, and time zone. So set those as appropriate and, and what you would like for your course. So you could set it for an upcoming, maybe you have a Tuesday night class um, and you want to set it for a four hour window. The time zone's already set. Um, so you could do it that way. If it's a recurring meeting that you'd like to set up on a weekly basis, maybe every week, every Tuesday, and then you want it to end, you know, come the end of the semester, you can certainly set the room up for that. The other option that you have is if you want to set up a room for office hours, you could use the no fixed time. And this would just be a, a recurring room that you could use at any time. So again, the option is yours as far as the settings go. And then you can continue to scroll down. Um, the video just means that it'll automatically be on or off when you join the meeting. And that's host is you. Uh, and then the participant would be anyone joining the meeting. The audio, we recommend you leave both selected. The meeting options, you can require a meeting password if you want. Again. I wouldn't recommend it for class. Enable join before host. If you'd like the students to be able to enter the room before you do, you can check this option. If not, it's fine to leave it unchecked. Mute participants upon entry. Um, using your personal meeting ID, I would just go with the link that's created for class meetings. And then if you want the recording to, uh, the meeting to be recorded automatically, you can go ahead and check this last option. And once you're done, uh, setting up your options, you want to click the Save button. 
This will then take you to the page which shows you the meeting settings and you'll notice here there's an invite attendees link. This is the URL that you're going to post in Bolt. So what you want to do is just go ahead and highlight this link and then you can right click and copy or you can use control C uh, on your keyboard. Once you've copied the link then if you go back to the Bolt page and you go to your course you can then go to the module in your course enter the link using the upload create button click create a link the title you can make whatever you'd like and then simply paste control V the URL and would recommend that you check open as external resource then click the create button. This would then put a link in your course for students to be able to join the office hours meeting room or any other meeting room that you create in Zoom.